Welcome to Garage Geek. I hope everyone is having a... Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. I hope everybody's having a great week. I'm so happy because I have the day off from school and it's perfect timing because I've been struggling with a cough all week. So first announcement is to remind everybody of my live stream tomorrow, The Fabulous Four, and we're going to be covering Paul McCartney's The Pipes of Peace, the novel Spock Must Die by James Blish, the movie The Seventh Seal by Igmar Bergman, and the graphic novel The Winter Soldier, Captain America, by all these people. So I hope my garage army did your homework and you'll be ready to chime in. And if not, please join me or watch it in reruns. The second part of this is my monthly DCBS haul. So I'm going to show off seven epic collections that came. The first is The Incredible Hulk, volume 15, with this McFarlane cover. This one is, uh, yeah, volume 15 from 1987. There's another Incredible Hulk, which is volume 9 from 1978 to 1980. We must be getting pretty close to finishing the entire Hulk run. Let me look. So they printed 1 through 9 so far, and we still need 10, 11, and 12. Then there's volumes 13 through 15, and then we're missing 16 through 18. So there's still a chunk of Incredible Hulk to be had. The next one I'm going to show is one of these that in the future I might not purchase. So this is Deadpool and Cable, the modern era epic collection. I mean, just the art on that is atrocious. This is Ballistic Bromance. And it's from 2004 to 2005. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I need to check it out before I pass judgment on it. Next, we have another modern era Venom, which is Venom Space Knight. And this is Venom Volume 6 from 2013 to 2016. Certainly one of Marvel's more popular characters. The art in this looks pretty interesting. And I heard this was a good run. So I'm looking forward to uh, actually reading this one. Next we have She-Hulk Volume 6. And this is this John Byrne goodness, although <laughs> that back is pretty awful. So this is from 1993 to 2002. Oh yeah, so it covers um, a bunch of, of stuff from She-Hulk. The next two are pretty interesting. So this Star Wars starts that Jason Aaron run. And I've also heard really good things about this. So this is volume one from 2015 to 2016, Aaron and Gillen. And I, I looked through this and the, the art looks fun. This, this looks like it's gonna be an interesting read. And finally, we have the Aliens original years, and this is Aliens. So this is volume two. The first one was called Alien. This is a bunch of uh, miniseries. And the cover art on this is phenomenal. I'm not sure if that's Sui Dam or not, but the back cover is, and look at that art. Now, of course, the art is gonna be, isn't gonna be that consistent all the way through, but if the covers are like that, there's even a, a novel in here with like, with a short story with photos of each page. This is interesting. Yeah, I mean, look at the cover art on these. I guess this was the Dark Horse time. So actually some pretty interesting epic collections in there. But as I said in a recent video, I need to start maybe limiting how many epic collections I buy, especially now that DC and other companies are putting out uh, versions. So I need to be a little bit more uh, selective. Next, I'm going to show off individual comics and books that I bought. So I bought four for my husband. I think I bought these without seeing the covers. And the result is, yeah, they're not very good covers. And so this is why I'm getting disappointed with uh, the company that I'm using. So this is Justice Ducks, number five. Here's a Scooby-Doo. And I like this. It says, zoinks, that is one perturbed pachyderm. Here is Thundercats number seven, and it's not a bad cover, but it's kind of, is he the Hulk or is he the Thundercats? I don't know. That's kind of a <laughs> interesting picture. And then I was very disappointed in this cover. This cover is just, normally I like the covers with that look like posters, but this one just looks silly to me. And I think if I had seen it, I, I, I wouldn't have bought it. So this is a comic that... <sighs> I wanted just for the cover. And I know that a lot of Marvel comics, they're printed on these really, like this really thin paper, the covers, but that cover is gorgeous. That's Alex Ross and I, look at that. That is so cool. 
announcement. Anybody interested in facsimile editions, I think DC has heard you because DC, they are now printing their old facsimile editions on this older style uh, paper that is more aligned with the original. You could, it's not glossy and it feels like that old paper. And so you're gonna get more of that authentic color seepage. If you were interested in facsimiles at all, you should start to check out what DC is doing. For example, in this police comics, when you open it up, it's the same thing. It's got that, that older paper. This one, of course, I think is the first Plastic Man. Uh, and here's another uh, reprint, a uh, facsimile edition of Crisis on Infinite Earths with that great George Perez cover. This one is number five. Here's the famous uh, beat off uh, Betty and Me cover, uh, 12 Center. Of course, this goes for big bucks, so I'm happy to have a, a, a facsimile of it. Uh, edition of it. Archie, did you have any trouble rescuing me? I sure did, Betty. I had to beat off three other guys. <laughs> Sounds like a fun afternoon to me. <laughs> so the new EC is putting out comics and the cover art's amazing, but I've been hearing mixed reviews. Some of these are really, really good and some of them are really bad. I mean, but look at that cover. So, th and the title, Epitaphs from the Abyss. This is number one, and here is uh, number two. Here is Cruel Universe number one. I just love the layout of these, the covers. I'm hoping that even if they're not good on their first or second issue, maybe they'll they'll get better. I have three more modern uh, facsimile editions. Here we have another uh, Amazing Spider-Man, which is number 259. I don't like these modern reprints, but I figure if I'm trying to get a run of Amazing Spider-Man, it's better to get this facsimile edition and not have to worry about the really high prices. Now, this one I was happy to get because this one goes for such a big bucks. And I had a couple of copy of these when I was a kid. But so, yeah, I'm very happy to have that. The first full black suit cover appearance, I believe, of it's going to be later Venom. What do you call this? The black? I guess they just call it the black suit. So, yeah, there we go. The Secret Wars number eight. And then there's a reprint of this Wolverine. I don't know why this is an important comic. I mean, the cover's okay, but there must be something important that happens in the issue. Oh my God, even the interior art. <laughs> oh Lord, it's horrible. So this is Creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> Number four. I don't know, when you look at the other covers available, I don't think this is the best one. I think I... I also have the Jenny Frison one. I'm not sure about that. And this is uh, a Boom Hello Darkness number one. Uh, definitely a Frison cover, Jenny Frison. Pretty cool, but I am I think the market for me is saturated with Jenny Frison art. There's just too much to, to um, keep track of, and I get frustrated with that. That's a pretty cool int interior art piece. But good for her. She must be making a lot of money. I have another one of these facsimile editions. This is Suspense number 11. It's a 10 center and it's just all kinds of weirdness. This is like a money demon and yeah, all kinds of stuff going on there. That's interesting. The new issue of Mad Magazine. Uh, we've got all kinds of aliens in here and so <laughs> there's like aliens all over the place. Um, <laughs> pretty funny. Oh. And they're also putting out another facsimile edition of that. I wonder if I ordered that or not. I already have. I think I already have it, but let's get it again. Here we have Shutter number 18. These magazines are always a lot of fun. Look at that cool cover art. I wonder who that is. Is that Boris? Here is Vampress Carmilla. And... It's a pretty cool cover art. Oh, this one is by San Julian. And I got this uh, Haunt of Fear, Volume 4, Issues 19 through 24. If you're not buying these, they're so ridiculously cheap. A lot of people complain about the colors being too bright. I love it. Once you've read, read one of these comics, you kind of read them all. But they're just so much fun to dive into. Jump in, jump out. Yeah, and just to own the history of, of EC. <laughs> Look at this, so awesome.
so there you have it don't forget uh, about the the fabulous four live stream tomorrow morning i might make uh, a friday night chat tonight it depends on how i feel i might try to save my energy for my live stream sorry if this feels a little bit subdued i just i'm not up to the normal energy levels because of my illness but uh we'll get there i want to thank everybody for the support and as always uh, any any comments that you have, Grace, greatly appreciated. <laughs>